What's up my Pungios? Andy, Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As you know, I always make content for home automation, for making your life simpler, and also to make sure that your home is safe. I've been doing a lot of videos on home security. You can check all the videos for those security cameras that I reviewed up in the cards above or down in the playlist. Nonetheless, before I started this home security, I actually got myself from work two of the blink cameras that are outside so i never had a chance to review those but i wanted to show you guys a really really cool accessory for the blink camera this is from a company called westerstein they uh, make accessories from home automation specifically for the blink xt and blink xt2 cams what this is is a solar panel accessory that you connect to the back of the housing it comes with all of that in the box here that I'll show you in the installation and allows you to set up your blink cam without having to worry about changing the batteries. That's the one huge thing about these devices is that every like three months or so you have to go in and change the battery and I hate doing that especially if you've you know gotten it up on a ladder and you have to climb on your roof or whatever. This is a nice solution to be able to mitigate that. Just so you know where my bias stands Westerstein did reach out to me and provide this product complimentary. This is not a sponsored ad. However, as you know, down in the links in the description, those links do help out the channel. With that said, let's go in and unbox it. It's pretty straightforward here. I'm surprised that I can palm this thing. It does not come with the blink camera. So make sure you understand that this is an, an accessory only. There is your solar panel. It's got a plastic build, it seems. And it's got its own USB type C plug. It's got, you know, obviously the adapter here where you put the stand on. It's, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's not metal in nature. Uh, it looks like some of the hardware broke out of its container. Um, nonetheless, here is said adapter this is where you're going to be fastening it to your roof or you know wherever you decide you're going to be putting it it does have an adjustable head it gives you probably i don't know 45 degrees in in angling which i think is necessary uh the only problem is you don't have the extra axes if you wanted to have it like tilt and pan so that's that's one drawback this is an all plastic build which you know, over time will corrode and maybe break. Hopefully that's not the case here. So I went out and grabbed my Blink X-T2 camera. It is not the newest version, but this is definitely compatible. It's one of the older ones. On the back side of it is the housing or the, the adapter where you're going to be plugging in the USB cord. Plug it in, push it in there, and you're gold. It has this these nice rubber couplings or whatever that goes around the joint to protect in the event of rain. All that's left is to go on site and to install it. Okay, Pongyo, so my blink is right here on the side of the garage, and I think we're gonna mount it right here, and hopefully there's enough sun for it to be powered. It's a low power device, so I don't think it's gonna need a lot, but we're gonna put it right here nonetheless. I, my wife is helping me and she's shaking her head. It feeds like this, and you want this clip to go into that clip, so this is not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's not enough angle. Maybe I have to do it like that. No, that, that should be enough. I have to remember the direction that I'm pointing it at. First step is always measuring where you're gonna be putting it and also figuring out the angle with which you're gonna put it. I already did that and I made my first hole as close as I could because I know right there on the corner of the house there's definitely some 2x4s that I could drill into. It took a bit because I had to go through that plastic siding, but I was able to get in there and then measure out the next hole, which was a little bit more difficult. I scored the plastic itself. Once I got that scored, then I just drilled right in and it was no problem. It's probably better to measure the distance between the two holes so you can get a more accurate pilot hole. I didn't need to do that. That was pretty good. All right. Pilot hole is set. I switched my drill bit. 
Now it's time to screw in the screws. Screwing the screws was a little difficult because my drill was a little too big in the little space I was at. So I kind of stripped the screw a little bit. It is a plastic housing as well. So you need to be careful that you're not screwing it so tight in there that you actually snap the plastic stand itself. All right, as strong as it can be. Okay, like I showed you earlier, this flap right here is where the USB cord is. Okay, let's go ahead and mount it, and then... All right, it snaps in place. Here's the cord. I kind of want to keep it coiled. Mm-hmm, just leave it. As much as I can. I should be able to just chill like that. Now we're gonna put it back where it was. Okay, I think we're where we need to be. That's the installation, that's what it looks like. Hopefully the sun comes and uh, goes right there and hits here. I'm hoping it does, I think it will. Thanks, Abby. Okay, we're here at the blink camera. I uh, just updated a screenshot looking at my backyard. Okay, um, let's look at the uh, garage door here. Let's look at the um, battery. I mean, it says battery's okay. I don't know what else to say. I mean, there wasn't really anything else that I had to turn on on the device. But that's it. There it is. All right, Ponyos, well, that does it. Thank you so much for watching this content. Hopefully you found this useful and interesting. Hopefully you found that this product is something that's gonna work for you. I certainly like to use solar. I don't wanna recharge my batteries. I don't wanna have to think about that at all. And I think this is a good solution from Westerstein. Check below in the, in the description for links for the product. Just know where my bias stands that this company sent this to me complimentary, but this is not a paid advertisement. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs. We'll see you next time.